Good morning, Jean Green. Hello, good morning to you. Good Julia. morning to you. Um, uh, what do you make of a law of uh, Boris Johnson's suggestion that we should have a, an, an amnesty for illegal immigrants? Well, to be frank, I think it's an appalling lack of judgment. Um, your first point was quite right. The Windrush is not a is not an amnesty for anybody. These people were legally in Britain, uh, and there was a, a, a bureaucratic um, cock up. But um, to widen that now and to say, well, everyone who has arrived illegally. Uh, should be allowed to stay legally, it seems to me absolutely crazy. I mean, these are people, let's remember who they are. They're, they're people who get in uh, clandestinely, maybe dropping out of the back of a lorry. They're people who overstay their visas. They're people who claimed asylum but were turned down by the court. These are all people who have no right whatever to be here. Uh, and to suggest that they should all have uh, an amnesty when they've hung around here for 10 years uh, it seems to me extremely unwise and uh, to have no the real effect will be to increase even more the pressure on our borders at Calais and and uh, uh, in other places well, is it a way it'll say yes so, you know, if you can get here and keep under the uh, under the notice of the authorities for 10 years then you can stay uh, for good but I mean, this is the issue isn't it, uh, it the, the vast majority of these people will have simply overstayed a visa lots of people say turned down for asylum and we, we do get the people coming in uh, under lorries we have no idea how many because we only know about the ones that are caught uh, obviously but the um, vast majority of these will be people who entered the country legally either on a tourist visa or a student visa or something uh, and, and have overstayed and I suppose a lot of people maybe they've got to grips now with quite how hopeless the Home Office is certainly in the wake of the Windrush scandal but a lot of people perhaps just won't realise that there there isn't actually proper record keeping or tracking of people who have entered this country uh, and given that we don't ask people for ID cards uh, and the like in this country there's there's really no way of anyone knowing that someone is in the country legally or not. Well, uh, yes, uh, up to a point. I mean, uh, we need certainly to strengthen our uh, checks on people as they leave, and that that is now at last being done, but with uh, with rather limited results. But but, but uh, when you I, check that someone's mm, leaving the country, well, they're already not a problem. They've gone. Brilliant. Okay. Right, you know, yes. if, if they're if they, we don't want them here or they're not legally allowed to be here, but what yep. do we do about the people who haven't left? Is it is that just a way of flagging up? Someone had a three month visa. The three months are up. They haven't left the country, and now we go looking for them. Well, I don't think we could do that because I think the numbers are too great. Uh, I think there are, there, are this, uh, there are things that certainly should be done. Uh, one is to make it more difficult for people to live uh, illegally in this country. Uh, and the government have been doing that recently. Uh, you, it's now very difficult, indeed, not possible to get a bank account, for example, if you're illegal. It's not possible to get a driving license. Uh, there are difficulties about finding a uh, accommodation because yeah. landlords are, are, are made to check that you are, in fact, legal. Now, that has gone slightly wrong in some cases, but the fact of the matter is that that is the best way forward to make sure that uh, it's not as easy as it has been simply to hang around in, in the UK. Because these people, remember, um, they are uh, taking advantage of public services. There are no checks on entry to schools, no checks on people going to GPs. Um, and the, these people are paying very little tax, if any at all. Well, because they're probably so, not working legally. They're, but also, I imagine exactly. actually they're being exploited, a lot of them as well, by, you know, because they can't complain yeah. about a, a bad employer. They could be paid under the minimum wage. Of course, that will also yes. bring down wages at the bottom half because of the, the nation, well, the very bottom, maybe, maybe a few percent, simply because uh, they, they provide competition. Um, wh what, about, what about the issue that look, if, you, if you didn't have an illegal, uh, have, have, have an amnesty for illegal immigrants, um, you carry on a situation where they're not paying tax off and they're not working legally they're, they're not uh, mm. uh, they're not in the system uh, but the reality is they are here there's not going to be a mass roundup of people who are illegal migrants in this country you know that as well as I do the papers will be all over crying children being deported from a country which they'd known as their uh, their life their whole life the human rights laws would stop people you can't split up families so once they've had a kid here they'll be able to stay here realistically they're here anyway in which case is there not an argument to bring them within uh, the law uh, and, and so that they're in the system? Uh, no, for the reason that we started with, which is if you went down that road, the, the numbers would simply get greater and greater, uh, entirely contrary to public opinion. I mean, something like 80% want to see stronger action to 
remove illegals. We need to do two things. One is, as I've mentioned, we need to make it and continue to make it difficult to live in this country if you've got no right to be here. The second thing we need to do uh, is to have um, an effective way of dealing with people who are discovered. We can't go around searching uh, blocks of flats, but where people uh, come to the notice of the authorities, uh, they should be removed. Um, and that requires a number of things. It, it requires more money for, for uh, the border force, which is terribly underfunded. Uh, it needs more places in the detention estates so that they can be held uh, while, while these things are going on. And we also need to put some pressure on some of the countries from which they come, because countries like Brazil and India um, will not sign return agreements, oh. will make difficulties over redocumentation. And we should say to them, look, if that's your attitude to people who come here and overstay, well, OK, we're going to have to take a tough attitude to issuing visas to your nationals. So you, have it, uh, you can't have it both ways. You can't have an easy visa system and refuse yes. to take but your own part, people back. It's part of the deal and also part of the deal for the people who do go the legal route, which is often quite costly. Uh, Lord Andrew Green, Chairman of Migration Watch, thank you very much indeed for joining us on that story. 